Hey there, explorers of history. Welcome back to our channel. Before we dive into the captivating journey of Zambia, a land of diverse wildlife and rich cultural heritage, we have a small request. If you enjoy our content and want to continue exploring the world with us, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Also, make sure to turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on our latest videos. For a more immersive experience and better understanding of our content, we recommend enabling captions. So, are you ready to delve into the fascinating history of Zambia? Let's get started. Ever pondered how Zambia, noted for its diverse wildlife and stunning landscapes, rose from colonial rule to independence? Today, we explore the compelling journey of this Southern African country. We narrate its rich history, from the first ethnic groups to its victorious march to independence. This captivating saga begins in the distant past, where modern Zambia was home to various ethnic groups. Each group, distinct in culture, language, and traditions, added to the region's vibrant mosaic. Key among these were the Bantu-speaking tribes. They migrated into the area around the first millennium AD, introducing iron-working skills and advanced farming techniques. As centuries rolled by, several kingdoms and chiefdoms rose and fell, each leaving their indelible marks on the region's history. These kingdoms had a unique and distinct impact on the area, shaping its culture, its people, and its future. The kingdom of Luba was one such kingdom. Its might was unrivaled, and its rule was characterized by a strong sense of unity and solidarity. The rulers implemented just and fair policies that fostered growth, stability, and prosperity. The Lunda Kingdom, another notable power, was known for its military prowess and administrative skills. The rulers were strategists who understood the art of war and governance, thus ensuring the kingdom's continuity and Kazembe Kingdom, with its influential reach, was a beacon of culture, arts, and literature. The rulers were patrons of the arts, and the kingdom flourished under their rule, becoming a cultural hub that attracted scholars and artists from far and wide. The Lozi Kingdom, on the other hand, was a symbol of resilience. Despite the challenges they faced, they managed to maintain their influence over vast territories, thanks to their indomitable spirit and tenacity. Each kingdom in its own way contributed significantly to the region's historical landscape, shaping its present and influencing its future. Among these, the mighty kingdom of Luba and Lunda stands out, as do the Kazembe and the Lozi, whose influence extended over vast territories. The winds of change began to blow in the 19th century with the arrival of European explorers. One crucial figure was David Livingston, a Scottish explorer, who reported the region's vast natural wealth, igniting European interest. By the century's close, the British South Africa Company, under Cecil Rhodes, dominated the territory, initiating Northern Rhodesia, today's Zambia. Under British administration, the indigenous people saw considerable changes. Colonial policies introduced modern infrastructure and systems, but caused displacement and exploitation of local resources. Notably, the copper industry flourished, drawing foreign investors and workers, but offered little advantage to the locals. The copper industry in particular saw a boom, attracting foreign investors and laborers, but providing little benefit to the local population. The dawn of the 20th century heralded a new era of resistance and struggle for self-determination. As the century unfolded, nationalistic sentiment swelled, giving birth to movements seeking autonomy. Two stalwarts emerged amidst the roaring crowd, Kenneth Kaunda and Harry Nkumbula. Through their leadership, they united diverse ethnic communities towards a common goal, freedom. Their persistent efforts, marked by numerous campaigns and negotiations with the British, laid the foundation for change. The 1960s were a time of turbulence and transformation witnessing the creation of political parties, democratic elections, and the hurdles of shifting power. This transformative decade climaxed on October 24, 1964, when Zambia emerged as an independent nation. And amidst the fervor of freedom, Kenneth Kaunda, a beacon of steadfast resolve, ascended as its first president. The post-independence era was a time of both triumph and challenge for Zambia. Following the exhilaration of gaining independence, Zambia found itself on the precipice of an era filled with a multitude of challenges. As a newly born nation, it found itself teetering on the edge of economic uncertainties that were as vast and unpredictable as the mighty Zambezi River itself. The nation's economy, 
once reliant on colonial powers to forge its own path amidst global competition and domestic pressures. Furthermore, the prospect of political instability appeared as a daunting shadow in the backdrop of its newfound freedom. The transition from colonial rule to self-governance was not smooth, as tribal and regional rivalries began to surface, testing the resilience and unity of the young nation. At the same, Zambia had to contend with the social changes brought on by its new status. The rapid urbanization, buoyed by the mining boom, added another layer of complexity to the intricate tapestry of challenges the nation faced. However, was grim. The era was also marked by alluring indications of progress. Significant strides were made in education, healthcare, and infrastructure development. Schools sprouted up across the country, providing Zambian children with opportunities their predecessors could only dream of. Hospitals were built and roads were paved, transforming the very landscape of the country and giving the people a glimmer of hope and promise for a better future. Yet it also witnessed significant strides in education, healthcare, and infrastructure development. In conclusion, Zambia's journey to independence is a testament to the resilience and unity of its people. This story is one of a nation, Zambia, standing tall amidst the tides of time, staring down the face of colonial rule, braving through the harsh winds of adversity, and emerging victorious. Even in the darkest days of their history, the people of Zambia held on to their belief in freedom, their desire for self-rule, and their vision of a prosperous future. The struggle was immense, the great, but their determination never wavered, their courage never faltered. This tale is not just about independence, it's about a nation's voyage towards progress, their ongoing pursuit of a better tomorrow. It is a journey, a multitude of trials and victories, each one carving a unique mark in Zambia's vibrant historical saga. This journey, marked trials and triumphs, is a crucial part of Zambia's rich historical tapestry, a story that continues to unfold with each passing day.